Hello guys again. So today I will talk about the uh, lecture number 17 which we talked about the inheritance. And very quick what is inheritance is. In inheritance we have a sober class, a base class, a parent class. From this base class or, or, or a parent class we can drive as many child or subclasses as we want. So no preference, we can get, we can uh, like um, inherit as many classes as we want. And the child class will inherit all the properties of the sober class. All the variables, all the methods as a sober class could be accessed inside the child class. And the child class may has, uh, uh, has uh, more variables or, or, or methods for that. So, for example, if you can take a look here at the slides, we have a class called generic items, and we have a class called produce items, which extends. So, in order to create a child class of a server class, you use the keyword extends. So, what's coming follow extends here after extends is the parent, and here is the child. And any object from this child can access all those methods and uh, variables of this one. So, a quick example, just to make it uh, clear. I have a package, let's say package one, and inside package one I will create a new class. This class um, I will call, for example, uh, professors. Okay, and um, I will have a avoid uh, a main here inside this professor class. Inside the professor class here I will declare a variable for example integer salary of the professor so I not, I'm not defining a specific professor, the two general professors. I will for example declare string name, name of the professor. I will have a method like uh, public um, void for example uh, um, let's say uh, print underscore salary and inside this uh, method I will do system dot out dot print line b salary is small salary so this method is only created to print out uh, the salary of the professor. And I may have another print method here again for to print the name. Let's say name. So this one will print the name of the professor. Okay, so I have two variables here. And I have uh, um, two... Um, uh, two methods. That's it. And I will create another class. Let's say class ECE underscore prof, for example. So I'm talking now about the professors of ECE. Extends the professors. So I have a class, its name is ECE Professor, and I may have another class for physics professor, and I may have another class for mechanical, for, for, um, for, for let's say, for computer science professors, but as I want. Inside this class, as its extent, so the salary and name, which should be common, take care guys, between all professors, are found here. So inside, in general, inside the um, let's say the uh, the parent the sober class we bought everything that's common that's will be for most of our classes is but you bought here inside your professor class and you can create as many classes as you want that by default can access those variables of, of the parent and they have more what more for example let's um, Let's uh, think about something for ECE professors. 
um, anything like um, like um, integer um, let's say extra salary so this extra salary is only for ACA professor no one else can take that this is increased for that and now if I came here inside the main I do that here inside professor class because I'm inside the main and I created an object ACE underscore prof let's say Ahmad equal new ECE underscore prof so we have an object here this is one professor of the ECE professors so here is an Ahmad can access see can access extra salary why he can access extra salary because it's belong to his, his class and he can access to name and salary which are classes of professor of his parent so I can say salary equal 20 and I can say Ahmad dot name equal Ahmad and I can call Ahmad dot print name and Ahmad dot print salary so if I run that here yeah this will belong to package one here I have Ahmad and 20 which is set name here and salary here so this object Ahmad of the child class have an access to all variables and methods of the parent class and you can repeat that here and have another class let's say physics class is extend professor let's say they have string uh, lab or, or physics lab to be physics underscore lab so they have another variables here if you create an object here again of face underscore prof physical prof um, let's say ch is name equal new face underscore prof if you use ch which is with a physics professor and said dot how many of those sorry so c capital and h small how many of variables he can access to he can access string and integer which belong uh, and salary sorry name and salary of parent professor and has access to physics lab which is a string inside his or her class but CH has no access to extra salary, which is browser. No, he cannot access extra salary. He cannot he can access any variables and methods here. So why would we create why do we create and, and use inheritance? Why inheritance is an important principle inside object oriented? Simply because I would like to print the salary and name of every professor. So this method this is a very simple thing this method is a print salary and print name will be found in every single professor or or, or, or child i will do so i will have ECE prof i have physics prof i will have computer science prof and mechanical prof for every one of them i will repeat print salary and print name if i have an inheritance i have a public one i have a general one with variables and with common methods that could be called from the child from anywhere so i don't have to repeat and repeat and repeat so this is why inheritance is very important that's for this example that might not be clear but for, for let's say huge large projects that would be really really uh, helpful okay this is the concept of inheritance